The night rescuers in Cuba's capital continue to search through the rubble for people after a huge blast at this luxury hotel. It comes as the number of dead continues to rise, including four children. Dozens of people are still missing. News 6's Brian Didlake is in the newsroom now with the latest on search efforts. And the number keeps growing in this tragic incident. Saturday, Cuban officials say at least 26 people are now dead after an explosion at a popular tourist hotel. As the search and rescue continues, Cuban nationals here in the state are sending their prayers. Podemos observar ahora en este hecho puntual. Los rescatistas llegan. Michael Ray, the owner of Ray's Cuban Cafe in Orlando, says his sources in Cuba tell him it took around 30 minutes for rescuers to arrive at the devastating scene. A Friday, a natural gas leak caused an explosion at the Saratoga Hotel in Old Havana. At least 26 people are dead, 70 more have been injured. According to Cuban officials, both of those numbers could still rise. Ray, who hasn't been on the island in at least a decade, still has strong ties to the country. He heard from witnesses that rescuers made a human chain to help get the injured out from under the debris. In Miami, it is a tragedy. other Cuban nationals say they are devastated to hear the news but call for accountability. For the sake of the victims and the sake of some of our uh, fellow uh, members of this community, that truthful and transparent information comes forward. A Cuba's president visiting the site Friday says the five-star hotel, popular among American tourists, was going through renovations and no guests were staying at the hotel at the time of the explosion. Now, a school was evacuated after the blast. Fortunately, no students were reported hurt. Cuba's health ministry says that hospitals in Havana are prepared to take care of all of the injured. In the newsroom, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.